Hello, and welcome back to Road Trippia, the once a day road trip trivia quiz. Today's episode is number 518. The category is Brainy Tuesday, number 18. This is a 20 question trivia quiz with a question 21 tiebreaker at the very end, and these are the more difficult general knowledge questions. So good luck on today's quiz. Question one. A subject having excessive weight for his height, build, and age, what is the name of the condition, especially common in Western society, that is characterized by excess adipose tissue in subcutaneous tissue and the abdomen? The answer is obesity. Question two. What was the name given to the 2.5 million word history of American involvement in Vietnam from 1945 to 1967 that was compiled by order of Secretary of Defense Robert S. McNamara and leaked by Daniel Ellsberg? The answer is the Pentagon Papers. Question three, impossible as it would violate either the first or second law of thermodynamics or both. What is the name of the hypothetical contraption that theoretically could run forever by producing as much energy as it consumed? The name of that would be the perpetual motion machine. Question four. Closely based on the Greek alphabet, with about a dozen additional letters invented to represent Slavic sounds not found in Greek, what is the name of the alphabet used for more than 50 languages, notably Russian? is the Cyrillic alphabet. Question five. The best ones are those with polar molecules and a high dielectric constant. Water is typically one of the most effective ones. What is the term for a liquid capable of dissolving a substance to form a solution? is a solvent. Question six. His works include the haunting short story, A Rose for Emily, an experimental work called A Light in August, and his 1929 masterpiece, The Sound and the Fury. What is the name of this writer from Mississippi? The answer is William Faulkner. Question seven. The second state to join the Union, doing so on December 12th, 1787, what is the name of the U.S. state with its flower, the mountain laurel, its bird, the ruffled goose, and its motto, virtue, liberty, and independence? The answer is Pennsylvania. Question eight. Being known chiefly for his portrayals of the Old West, usually depicting Indians, cowboys, and horses, what is the name of the popular US painter, sculptor, and writer who extensively traveled the American West? The answer is Frederick Remington. Question nine. Lorenzo's Oil, White Palace, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, 
Thelma and Louise and Bull Durham are among her popular early films. What is the name of this Academy Award winning New York actress? The answer is Susan Sarandon. Question 10. What is the name of the law of fluid mechanics which states that the pressure in an enclosed body of fluid arising from forces applied to its boundaries is transmitted equally in all directions with unchanged intensity? The answer is Pascal's Law. Question 11. It was recognized as an art form as early as 250 BC. It was practiced in early medieval Europe and a high point combining beauty with legibility was the Book of Kells. What is the term for the art of penmanship? The answer is calligraphy. Question 12. What is the name of the electrical component used to provide reactants in alternating current circuits and to store electric charge that consists of essentially two conducting plates separated by an insulator? The answer is a capacitor. Question 13. What was the name given to the ancient bronze statue of the Greek sun god Helios, worked on for 12 years and erected in a city on a Greek island of the same name by Charis of Lindos in 280 BC? The answer is the Colossus of Rhodes. Question 14. Sam and Molly love each other, but their romance is short-lived because Sam is killed. Unable to tell Molly that her life is in danger, Sam's spirit takes a psychic's help in order to save her in what 1990 Patrick Swayze movie? The answer is Ghost. Question 15. Together with Aesiclus and Euripides, he helped found Greek tragedy. What is the name of the Athenian dramatist who wrote plays such as Oedipus Rex, Oedipus at Colonus, Antigone, and Electra? The answer is Sophocles. Question 16. He gained control of southern Italy by heavily defeating the forces sent against him. What is the name of this leader of the Gladiators' War, a slave revolt against ancient Rome, who died in 71 BC? The answer is Spartacus. Question 17. In Egypt, it was used as a symbol of the Pharaoh. In Greek mythology, it propounded travelers on the road to Thebes with a riddle. What is the name of this mythical monster portrayed as a lion with a human head? The answer is the Sphinx. Question 18. Since 1815, the monarchs of the Netherlands, including the current King Willem Alexander, 
have belonged to this line. What is the name of the house that has been an important dynasty since the 16th century? The answer is the House of Orange. Question 19. Which amendment of the United States Constitution prohibits both Congress and the states from conditioning the right to vote in federal elections on payment of a poll tax or any other type of tax? The answer is the 24th. Question 20. Pat Williams said, We can't win at home, we can't win on the road. As a general manager, I just can't figure out where else to play. About his team's dismal 91-92 start. But what NBA team's fortunes changed in 1996 when they acquired Shaquille O'Neal? The answer is the Los Angeles Lakers. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching this episode of Road Trippia. And we have finally come to the conclusion of our very first challenge, the intro challenge from last month, wrapped up last night, and the letter Y which the intro was from Rim from Minneapolis, Minnesota. The letter Y had the most views out of all of them over the course of the month by only 40, I think it was 42 or 43 views from the letter Z. So I was surprised that the letters at the end of the alphabet were actually the ones closest to the top. But the letter Y pulled it off. He will win $173. I've sent him an email. Rim, if you're listening, check your email get back to me and let's get that prize money to you again congratulations to you and thank you to everybody who did enter thank you for all the great submissions i really enjoyed last month's trivia quizzes i hope you guys did too here is question 21 the tiebreaker for today's quiz one of the most frequently mentioned terms in the bible it is one of the three things mentioned in 1 Corinthians 13.13. 13. What is this word defined in Hebrews 11.1 1 as the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen? First Corinthians 13.13 13, I think is something about faith, hope, and love. And the answer to this question is faith. Thanks for playing. Have a good week. And I'll see you tomorrow.